Another annual 4th of July tradition in Naples is the fireworks at the pier, but of course, due to damage from Hurricane Ian, that plan was scrapped. So in an effort to keep the tradition alive, Collier County stepped in, lighting up the sky at the Paradise Coast Sports Complex. The night beats Amy Gallo is there live. Amy, were people there happy with this year's change? They were so happy. The event just wrapped up here with an amazing fireworks show. And for people, it meant a lot to finally come together again as a community after Hurricane Ian, because for a minute there, they didn't think there would be a celebration like this after the Naples Pier one got canceled. For a moment there, Naples residents weren't sure if there was going to be a 4th of July celebration this year. I used to go to um, the Naples Pier. The popular fireworks show was canceled due to Hurricane Ian damages. The Collier County came to the rescue. Uh, in light of the Naples City fireworks not happening, the county uh, decided to move the fireworks over here. To the Paradise Coast Sports Complex. When they said that they were having it here, I was like, we're going there. And it was quite the celebration. Celebrating like fireworks and giving other people like happiness to like joy in their self. But it wasn't just fireworks. Sure, those lit up the skies tonight. But this place was packed since 3 p.m. with people enjoying bouncy houses, face painting, laser tag, live music, and of course, delicious food. And having this celebration, it truly means a lot to the community, given the year we've had. I mean, after Hurricane Ian, um, like a lot of like stuff happened. You know, everybody was just, I don't know, like distant because of what happened, but now, it's bringing everybody together, so that's good. Tonight's event did reach full capacity, and there's still a really long line waiting to get out of this parking lot. They, some cars have been waiting for 40 minutes. So if you're driving down Collier Boulevard, you might run into some of this traffic near the sports facility. Live in Naples, Amy Gallo, Wink News.